Well, for this experiment, these are the materials that we need. We need a glass Coke bottle. We need approximately 10 milliliters of liquid dish detergent. And a 25 cent piece, AKA a quarter. All right, let's get to the experiment. The quarter has been marinating in the liquid soap. Marwan is gonna take the quarter out. Maddie is going to marinate the top of the Coke bottle, creating a seal. Now, when Marwan places the quarter on, the air is trapped inside the Coke bottle. Maddie, her hands are warming up the air inside of the Coke bottle. And if we wait a few more seconds, we'll see the quarter move. As you can see, bubbles are forming on the outside of the Coke bottle because the molecules inside have nowhere to escape. We have pressure on the inside of the Coke bottle creating this movement. So as you can see, the pressure inside of the bottle builds up causing the quarter to jump. It doesn't get any better than that. But wait, it does. We're almost ready for our experiment. But some key things you're gonna need are the materials. We need an empty aluminum paint can with the lid. We're gonna need a basin to put ice in and approximately a half a pound of ice. We're gonna need uh, a lot of water. We're gonna need a hammer. We're gonna need a scratch off. We're gonna need protective gloves because we are dealing with heat. We're gonna need a stove top and we are gonna need safety glasses. And on with the experiment. First, what we need to do is pour approximately 10 milliliters of water into the empty paint can. Next, we need to put the lid on the paint can. Put a lid on it. Once the lid is properly secured, we want to puncture a hole in the top with this very sharp, dangerous tool called a scratch-off. Now we are ready to put the paint can on top of the stove. Oh, perfect timing. Take a look at this. We got the steam coming out of the hole. So after approximately three or four minutes, it actually seemed like an hour, but after about three or four minutes, you'll begin seeing steam like this. What does that mean? Well, at this moment, the molecules inside are building up pressure. They're moving around like crazy. The pressure on the inside of the can is much greater than the pressure on the outside of the can. On the count of three, I'm going to put the paint can into the ice bath and we're going to see an exchange of air pressure. The 14.4 pounds per square inch of atmospheric pressure will overcome the paint can and we will see something very scientific. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh! Where can you get this? At Mr. Marino Science. <laughs>